If you're someone who has a ton of Christmas cards to make this year and you want a whole bunch of different elements that coordinate beautifully together to help you make those cards quickly, well then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and in today's video I am going to be sharing the Spellbinders Limited Edition Kit Santa Lane. It is jam packed with tons of embellishments, papers, card stocks, dies, and much more. But if you're just looking for a few elements to coordinate together, then stick around because I'm also sharing the Winter Wonderland collection where you can buy a la carte, a pattern paper pad, some die cuts, and stickers. First, let's take a look at everything that comes inside the Santa Lane kit. This is the limited edition Santa Lane Christmas kit. Now, I know this kit is a bit of an expense, but when you see everything that's inside, you'll realize it has really everything to make pretty much all of your holiday cards. So of course they have the little instructions for the dies and also the kit contents on a sheet. There are 13 a2 size cards and then there are 12 five by seven cards both of those come with envelopes as well there's a pack of a tape roll and two packs of 3d dimensional foam squares and there's this pattern paper which is absolutely gorgeous you get so many versatile sheets there's also a die cut pack you know if you've seen my videos before how much those come with but there's also a die cut sentiment pack tons of die cuts. Here are all those dies that I showed you the instruction sheet before. There's a stamp set. There's these gorgeous gems. Look at all the shine you get on those. There's these clear popped up stickers, lots of detail here and absolutely beautiful to complete a card. There are gold sequins in several sizes in the pack. There are two sheets of chipboard stickers. You know, I love these for both dimension and quick sentiments. There's also these puffy sentiment stickers, and there's also these shiny gold puffy snowflakes and stars. There's also foam glittered letters, so you can spell out your own sentiments, and there's a whole bunch of colorful cardstock. There's also white cardstock, black cardstock, two sheets of the mirror gold, and two sheets of the mirror silver. So again, pretty much everything that you need is included in this kit. Now let's make some cards. We're gonna start with the most complicated, which is the dies. They're not difficult, but there's lots of little pieces. So I've cut out the sled in red cardstock that came in the kit, and then I'm using the silver mirror cardstock from the kit as well. Everything that I'm using today, except for my liquid glue, is going to come from the kit. So I've cut out the sack in red cardstock, the little tie knot in gold mirror. The little presents come with tops for the boxes, uh, stripes that can make ribbon, and then bows as well that you can die cut out. So again, lots of tiny pieces, but very easy to put together. Little Snowman has a couple of dies. There's the face and body that have little holes poked out for the eyes and buttons. I am going to adhere those down with liquid glue to black cardstock behind them, let them dry, and then I'll cut them out later. So I'm gonna set those aside and work on his hat. His hat comes with three pieces. Okay, it's a small, tiny little hat, but you have the hat brim and then you have the pom-pom. So really easy to put together. You just need a little patience and maybe a little bit of time. This card is going to be your specialty card, the one that you give to somebody who really enjoys your handmade cards. This is for that person. <laughs> so I'm gonna adhere these all together. Uh, the little snowman's got a little carrot nose and some hands, little sticks that I cut out of brown cardstock that's also included in the kit. And I'm just adhering these all together and then letting them dry. I'm gonna pop up up the sled on some foam tape. Yes, I could have used the little foam squares from the kit. I had that just right in my hand, so I just used my foam tape, but yes, they do come with foam squares. Since the sled's popped up, I can put the Santa sack inside. I've got my little snowman sitting in front there, and then a couple of gifts on top of the sack or just kind of behind. So that creates a cute little scene as it is, and you did not need to do more than that. Look at all those little details. 
but we're also going to create the Santa so that I can show you again that there's lots of little pieces, but it's not difficult to put together. Okay, Santa's body I've cut out in red, and then these foam accents, uh, not foam accents, they're fur accents to his coat that I've cut out of white cardstock. I put the belt together with black cardstock and then the gold trim. There are these little sliver pieces that go right under his boots. Those are kind of the soles of his shoes. It makes them look a little dimensional. This piece here is what goes over his shoulder. It's what he's going to use to pull the sled behind him. So I have this piece kind of uh, hanging over his shoulder. Then I put the beard down. A little bit of liquid adhesive at the very top of the beard. You can see that the top fits the bottom of his face. So I've cut out his face his mustache, his nose, his eyes, his eyebrows, put the hat together. The arms have a couple of different ways you can do them. I'm having this arm hold that uh, rope from the sleigh and the other arm I'm going to have going in an upward direction. You'll see on the instructions they have one where he's kind of holding it in tight to his left hand side. I have the bell put together with all gold. You could do different colors so you can see those different accents there. And then you can see his mitten can just be the mitten like that, but I'm going to put the bell inside and then they have this other piece of the mitten that you can put on top. So it looks like the four fingers of his, actually this is his right hand, I don't know why I said left before, <laughs> holding down onto that bell there. So again, lots of little pieces. I'm going to make the sentiment really easy. Just use some die cuts. I forgot to put on that uh, right hand side of the sole of his boot there. Look at that. So cute. I mean, this has nothing to do with anything that I did. It is just an adorable die set and it does come together really not that bad. It's not, doesn't take that long, but now I'm going to show you quick cards. So I have just a couple of pieces of pattern paper, and then I have a chipboard sticker from the chipboard sticker set, and then a couple of those puffy stars. That's it. After the little teeny tiny little elements of the dies, I wanted to do quick and easy for you for the rest of this video so you can see just how many cards you can make. Okay, so I have here a piece of the gold that I had cut a bunch of things out of. I matted some of the pattern paper with some gold foil accent on top. Then I have a die cut and a chipboard sticker. Clean and simple, but you could make about a billion of these. Now, I know the card kit only comes with uh, 25 cards cards and envelopes, but obviously you could add your own. And I'm thinking you could easily double, if not triple, the amount of cards you make if you add your own card bases and envelopes. There's just so much in here. So this time I am using one of those puffy stickers, a chipboard sticker, a strip of pattern paper. See this thing, you don't have to use an a six by six pattern paper. Every single time you use the pattern paper, you can use up your scraps this way. If that were the case, if you were using just little bits and pieces here, I think you could make like a hundred cards, honestly. <laughs> There's so much in here. Okay, I do have this pattern paper cut down to four by five and a quarter matted on some red cardstock. I have a large die cut. These large die cuts would be great on those five by seven cards, but I decided to use it on an A2 here. For me, A2s go a lot more quickly and easily, so that's what I'm creating, but just know that they have some larger pieces in this kit to allow you to create five by sevens as well. Okay, I'm going to cut down a piece of black cardstock. I do love the buffalo print, that kind of black and white gingham, and the black cardstock as a, a way to make the colors of the traditional colors of Christmas really pop. So, whoops, almost upside down there, but I caught it just in time. A little holiday magic, and then one of those clear stickers on the bottom. I love those trucks, the red trucks with the gifts kind of piled in the back. And then I have a bunch of the gold sequins because I hadn't used those yet, and I wanted to show you how shiny they are. They're absolutely beautiful. Also, those little snowflakes and stars 
stars, just throw them on any card. They really just add a nice embellishment, quick and easy, because they are peel and stick. So I love that. Yes, the gold sequins, I did have to use some liquid glue and an embellishment wand, but they are just so pretty and such a great accent together with those stars or, or snowflakes. Okay, I have a black piece of cut, cardstock cut down to four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna put this fireplace die cut down flat because I'm gonna pop up the chair right in front of it and check that out. In just two die cuts, I kind of have a room. There was this little sign of chipboard sticker that I'm gonna hang from the back and then a candy cane that I'm gonna hang from the fireplace, a couple of gold stars in the background. And I'm telling you, these cards come together so quickly and they can be each so unique so that everybody on your list is getting their own individual card. So I love this Santa die cut as well, had to use that. And of course, wanted to show you how gorgeous those glitter puffy stickers are of the letters and just added a little Christmas cheer die cut. Again, quick and easy. Okay, for this one, I have the Joy and To The World, which are the puffy stickers on a white piece of cardstock and a mat it on some pattern paper again. And I found this large green heart. Now again, this large green heart die cut could go on a five by seven really easily, but it just filled this A2 card so nicely with the sentiment that I had chosen. And then I put a bow die cut popped up on top. Lots of clean and simple. You can add more to it if you want. You could do ink blending. You could do all kinds of techniques, but I like, especially if you're trying to get a lot done, I like to keep these clean and simple and then show how unique they are with all the different die cuts, stickers, embellishments. This one was a little tag that I thought this little snowman fit on perfectly. And I love those little houses in the background and that kind of lighter green cardstock is just such a, a fun color to, as a change from all the dark colors that we were doing before and jingle all the way just seemed like a really cute little sentiment underneath. Okay, for the stamp set, I did wanna show you that you can get a great impression even if you are heat embossing with this stamp set. So I am going to use some anti-static powder tool on white cardstock. I'm gonna use Versamark ink and stamp the main image, which is that little deer, and then a long sentiment next to that deer. So then you can see I used gold embossing powder and look at all that detail. I mean, it came out so gorgeous, so I just trimmed it down and put it on some gold foil pattern paper from the kit and added, again, some of those sequins and stars. I just love all the gold. And then the red Peace and Joy die cut was a really nice pop of color on this otherwise neutral looking card. Maybe you already have some stamps and dies that you're already looking to use for the holidays, but you wanna add some embellishments or some stickers and have them coordinate together. Well then, the Winter Wonderland collection is a great option for you because you can buy these items singly or a la carte and put them together to make cards, again, really quickly and easily. So let me show you a few of the things that you can grab in this collection. So first up in the Winter Wonderland options that you have available to you a la carte, there is the six by six pattern paper. You can see that there are some really adorable images. It's a slightly different color combination. It's a slightly brighter color combination than the Santa Lane kit. There are some blues, uh, just a different, no blacks in this one. So just depending on what your favorite colors are or if you want a whole kit versus an a la carte option. I do love the gold foiling on some of these pattern papers. And of course, you know, I'm drawn to the very versatile things like dots and just different options that you have there. There's also an alphabet. It's kind of puffy and kind of that gold mirror metallic. There's also a sparkle puffy sentiments like jingle bells, deck the halls, those kinds of things. And then we have the die cut. So first up, I did want to show you how many you get in the sentiment die cuts. So many different options. Many of them have the gold foiling on them. There's just a ton of options. So everything from peace and joy to Merry Christmas to, you know, season's greetings, and then some little images, little circles and things like that. If you're uh, maybe doing scrapbooking, these would be great as well. 
then these are the image die cuts. And of course you get two of each. Again, many have foiling. They come in some larger sizes like that fireplace in the background there. There are a few sentiments in here, but the other pack is the main sentiment pack. There's everything from gingerbread houses to wreaths to just some, some nice pine and cardinals. There's the truck with the Christmas tree or a car with the Christmas tree on top. And one says Noel. So just lots of different options available here. And you could make a lot of cards if you had items that you were already working with, like card bases, card stock, things like that. For this first card, I'm gonna start with the dazzling dots embossing folder on some white cardstock. I'm using the universal plate system in my platinum six. Once I have that cut down and matted on some of the pattern paper from Winter Wonderland, I am playing around with some die cuts. I've popped up that uh, skate there and I'm just putting some pine bows and things behind it, popping up a season's greeting sentiment. That's the really pretty blue that's in this kit. It's almost like a periwinkle. And again, just some die cuts, an embossed background, and a piece of pattern paper, and you are done. For this one, I'm going to use some of the cardstock from the Santa Lane kit. So that's that blue cardstock in the back, but I do have the pattern paper, and then I have just a few die cuts, again, popped up on top of each other, just kind of a bunch of ornaments together with different sentiments easy. And then I have, this was one of my favorite pattern papers on some white cardstock. I have the little house here popped up and then I'm going to pop up two of the sentiment die cuts that says happy holidays. Super easy, super simple, clean and simple, but lots of interest in the card because of the foiling accents and just how cute all the die cuts are. Same thing here, I have a pattern paper matted on some mirror gold cardstock. I'm gonna use that large fireplace. Again, remember that that die cut is big enough to be on a larger card if you so wish, or it can just fill that A2 card front like this. Again, I am just cracking through these cards so quickly that I'm going to have all of my Christmas cards created by the end of this. So I have a die cut here. I'm using a piece of the pattern paper and then I'm gonna grab those sentiments. I love those gold sentiments. I thought deck the halls would be perfect here with this little truck going home with its Christmas tree. And you can use that Spellbinders tool in one to pop out some of those inner pieces of those puffy stickers really quickly and easily. I love those stars as well. And then I did wanna show the alphabet as well. So I have uh, the alphabet, I'm gonna spell out Mary in the center of this white piece of cardstock that's matted on that plaid pattern paper. And then I have four little die cuts from the image die cut pack, and I'm popping them up, two on top, two on bottom. This is a really easy card that you could recreate with lots of different sentiments and lots of different die cuts, and you could mass produce this no problem at all. So these kits come with everything you need to make all kinds of holiday cards. So I'd love to hear if you're someone who prefers everything jam-packed into a kit or you prefer to buy one or two items a la carte. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd prefer to see the latest Spellbinders stamps, dies, embossing folders, and foil plates for the holidays, be sure to subscribe because I'll be sharing a video later this week with all of those items. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. What's going on there? It's like, everything's very sleek, and then there's this weird, like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wrap it up. We got two more to do. <laughs>